Drummers definitely walk their own path. You have to be someone who's not willing to conform to normal standards. You have to be a little crazy to want to do this for a living. People hit me up and they're like, hey man, I want to study with you in like, you know, three or four months out. And I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. So if you want to have a, a life like that, yeah, you got to be a, a little nuts. It's a thankless job, really, you know? You go and crush it on the gig, and everyone just expects you to, you do, to do that. And when you get on stage, you have to be able to hold the whole band together. Because when you're playing a big tour, if you screw up, the whole show falls on top of you, and it's a, it's a big deal. I think I've always sort of operated outside of the norm, or tried to. I've tried to be as diverse as possible with my career with bands or gigs that I take because I love a huge variety of music. And people have tried to sort of pin me down as like this thing or that thing for years, and it never really works. Like the idea of having a band that I play in for 30 years and I'm on tour playing the same songs every night. Like, there's no way I could do that, you know? I do these really stressful tours where I learn music last minute and I come in and then like after I am comfortable, after about like a week or something, I'm like, yeah, okay, like I think I got this, like what's next? I'm always trying to expose myself to new things whether that's art or music or food or, or traveling. And there's so much other stuff out there that, that can then come back and, and influence you in a beautiful way. Like, who was Miles Davis's biggest influence? Frank Sinatra. And you listen to Frank Sinatra and then you put on Kind of Blue and you're like, holy shit, this is the same thing. You know, so it's like drummer's skull, I can only be influenced by drummers, you know? It's just it's widening, you just gotta widen your scope. You know, so much stuff out there, but it takes work. Now with social media, everyone's self-worth is so deeply tied into that stuff that they've lost track of the point of doing all of this in the first place, which is to actually make music. Everyone sounds like a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, and it's brutally boring, uh, and it's not inspiring. But what you can do is be yourself, and no one else has done that before, so you can't fuck it up. <laughs> 